Welcome back. Well, we know some of you are going to be going to see some amazing fireworks shows, but for those of you who are DIY type of people, we have Mr. Jeffrey Witte here from the Shreveport Fire Department. He's actually a fire prevention officer, and you're going to talk to us about a few safety tips. Talk to us about, you know, what should we take? What precautions should we take before even beginning with the firework popping? Well, first and foremost, um, we recommend people leave the fireworks shows to the pros. Yes. So the safest <laughs> option would be to attend a professional show. That way you don't have to handle fireworks, get in close proximity to them, but you can still enjoy all the action. But if you are going to purchase fireworks, make sure you purchase them from a licensed stand. That way we know that the business has been vetted and the products are safe for con consumer use. Okay, sounds good to me. Now, we have some tools here, you guys, just to demonstrate a little bit about the safety that he's talking about. Now, we have behind us a fire extinguisher, and we also have a bucket, because when you said we want to have water by us while we're doing this. Now, also talk about the environment that we need to be in while popping this firework. Yes, yeah, so for today's purposes, we're going to illustrate out here in front of the studio, but you want to make sure that you're at least 300 feet away from any structure if you're going to shoot the fireworks up in the air. You want to make sure that you're on a flat, firm surface and that you're not near dry vegetation that could cause a fire, you know, once you light the fireworks. Okay, sounds good. Now, I have in my hand a Roman candle and a sparkler, which are some of the favorites that we tend to use. And I was today years old, actually, when I found out that you're not supposed to hold these in your hand. That's right, do not hold Roman candles in your hand. Sparklers are acceptable, but you need to keep them out in front of you, pointed away from other people, at least an arm's length out from your body. Okay, so the Roman candles, you guys, he said actually go into the ground. Tell us the purposes of it going into the ground and not holding it into your hand. Well, Roman candles, just like a lot of fireworks, are explosive in nature. Most injuries to the human body occur to the hands, the face and the neck region with fireworks. So you want to distance yourself as much as you can. If something is exploding in your hand, that could cause injuries to you. Now, in the event that something does take place, which we hope does not happen this weekend for some of our viewers, talk to us about what are the steps that they need to take to make sure that, you know, they get the fire out, they're taking safety precautions as well. Well, absolutely. We have a bucket of water here today. We have a fire extinguisher. You also want to wet the ground down after you discharge the fireworks, especially if you're on the grass. Wet everything down. Take your used fireworks and soak them for at least 30 minutes before disposing of them. And then when you do dispose of them, don't put them inside of your house or a trash can. Leave them out there by the curb or the street. Okay, you guys heard all of those amazing tips. So you have no choice but to be safe this weekend and, of course, having some fun. I'm just going to light my little sparkler. Let me put this Roman candle down because we don't need any more explosive going on. And, and Officer Witty is going to do this for me. This is one of my favorites, you all, from childhoods. I haven't popped fireworks in years, actually, but I absolutely love the sparkler because it was so pretty when we were doing it. And thank you so much for being here with us today, Officer Witty. You guys stay safe. We'll be right back.